Hello there. In this short video, I'll be reminding you of Kirchhoff's voltage law, also known as Kirchhoff's second law. Kirchhoff's voltage law says that the sum of the EMFs, the electromotive forces, around any loop in a circuit is equal to the sum of the PDs, the potential differences, around that same loop. Let's begin by considering a circuit. This is a series circuit, but you'll note like in many Kirchhoff's second law problems, we have two sources of EMF. We have a 12 volt battery on this side and a 5 volt battery on this side. The two are arranged, you'll notice, so the positive terminals are facing each other, uh, so they are actually opposing each other's EMF. We also have a couple of resistors in our circuit. Kirchhoff's second law talks about some of the EMFs and the sum of the PDs around the loop, so we need to first of all draw ourselves a loop. Now, What's really important in Kirchhoff's second law is that the direction of arrows that you draw, whether it's a loop or a current, does not actually matter as long as you are consistent in your maths. If you're really consistent and you trust that the maths and the numbers will work out, then you'll get the correct answer regardless of which direction you choose to draw the arrow. In this case, I've chosen to draw the arrow that way around because it seems to make sense. It seems to make sense that this larger EMF here would uh, would push the current around this way uh, opposed by this smaller EMF here. But as I say, I could draw it either way if I wanted. I'm also going to draw a current onto my circuit and I'm going to draw the current in this direction as well. Again, just because intuitively it feels like that's the direction the current is flowing. If in fact I'm wrong about that, it's not a problem. I will end up with a negative number and I'll know that I should instead draw my arrow the other way. Let's begin by writing out Kirchhoff's uh, voltage law, Kirchhoff's second law uh, as a symbol equation. So here we have the sum of the EMFs is equal to the sum of the potential differences. So let's add up our EMF. So we have 12 volts here. And remember, direction is really important. We're going around our loop. So we're beginning here, going around our loop no EMF there. Here we have another EMF. Now this EMF, this is the positive terminal on the battery here, so that means that the EMF here is pushing in the opposite direction to our loop, so we need to write that as minus 5. And that will be equal to the sum of our potential differences. A very common mistake students make here is to write the resistance instead of the potential difference. This 10 ohms is the resistance we, we don't know what the current is, so we can call the current I. Now, potential difference V equals IR, so the potential difference across this resistor is going to be 10 multiplied by I. Again, we follow our loop around, put 10I there, and we come to this resistor here, which will be 6 multiplied by i. So we can simplify our equation a little bit. We have 7, so that's 12 minus 5, equals 10 plus 6, that's 16 i. Now we can find the rearrange, we'll get i equals 7 divided by 16, which is 0 0.4 for amperes. So by using Kirchhoff's second law here, we've been able to calculate our unknown current. 